little bit about how Malais was formed, because it's one of the first cooperatives in Champagne. So, yes. how did it start? Well, the story is quite interesting because the uh, official uh, foundation, foundation date is 1929. But in fact, beginning of the 20s, a handful of men decided to work together because we were just after the First World War and the times were tough and they just didn't know what to do with their grapes. So they decided to, to merge, to work together. And uh, the, the fir their first ideas uh, were to uh, press uh, their own grapes in that village and to sell this uh, juice to the champagne houses. But because the times uh, were tough and because they were uh, boycotted at that time, uh, they had to do uh, everything by themselves. So uh, they pressed the juice, uh, they bottled it, they aged it, and they decided to sell it by themselves. So the, they started in 1929 and now nearly 90 years after, uh, the philosophy is still the same. Uh, it still belongs to the founders, same families, more or less, uh, 25 families in, in that village. And we are still named after the village because Mai is our company name, but it's also the name of the, that village, that Grand Cru village. And we still sell uh, the grapes uh, from these families uh, in bottle called Mai Grand Cru. So the, the philosophy from the beginning is still the same now. And why did the houses boycott them? So what was, this, what was the structure before? Why was this new co-op Be, such a threat? Be, because um, in, in some ways, uh, the times were tough. 1929, it was a financial crisis and the whole system collapsed and uh, nobody had a network anymore to sell their, their champagne. So the, the whole system were uh, cracking. And uh, the houses didn't see it uh, on a good way that some people were working together and created a brand. They, they saw it as a competitor at that time, I guess. So uh, they, because they said they didn't want new competitors at that time, they, they boycotted it. So they had to do uh, everything by themselves and they had to sell the bottle themselves. So that, that's why uh, I think the boycott appeared because the times were tough and uh, there were no place for new newcomers. And actually the boycott backfired because <laughs> now the, the co-op has kind of continued and, and grown, become stronger and there are more co-ops today in Champagne. Yes, and, <laughs> and the times have changed. There is no more boycott. We, we're friends now, of course. But uh, yes, the, the, the cooperatives have evolved in Champagne and in most villages you have cooperatives. And uh, to sum up, the, the cooperatives have three jobs uh, in Champagne. Uh, one of their job is to uh, press some juice, some grapes and sell the, the wine to the negotiants. Uh, it's a big part of their business. A second uh, business is to uh, press, some bot press some grapes, bottle it and give the bottle back to, to the growers. So they, they, they are récoltant coopérateurs, RC. And a third business is to sell the bottle under their own brand name. So they are, ver they are uh, very known uh, brand name from Cooperative uh, and we are one of them. Great.